my experience with you too is uh, it's not so much that I dislike them. Mm-hmm. It's that I was never captivated by them yeah. in the way that, say, you and you are. Yeah. Okay. Scott uh, and Scott. But you did not, you say. You were never captivated. No. What was the never... first time you ever heard about them? Oh, my God. From years ago, living in Philadelphia, when they were still playing small places now, in Philly. You got a Pompadou, and um, it's Probably. 1986. You hear about you 2 for the first time. What do you hear about them? Uh, I hear that they are uh, this uh, amazing band, and people are bragging, like, I saw them at Grendel's Lair. There's only seven people in the audience. Things like that. Fantastic. That's all the time we have. For you, Paul, <laughs> thank you so much for coming. All right. By. I am glad to be of service. <laughs> Let's tell you what. Well, I want to get back to Paul at a certain point about uh, what he thinks or does not think about you two. But let's talk Ooh, about some. I can't reviews. wait to tell you what I don't think about them. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. So, sure. Paul, you're in Philly. You're a uh, you're a 16 year old boy. You're a small boy. You want to be just, a big boy. I'm just a little boy. I want to be a big boy. Sure. <laughs> but if there's a certain time in people's lives when they become a big boy. Do you did you view yourself as a big boy yet? It it took me a long time to see myself as a big boy. Yeah. Uh, but I feel like with feel- Paul, with Paul, we have gotten, we've gone over the same span of time from <laughs> yes, when he started. He's heard of yep. you too? That's right. He's heard of them yeah. from his new adult friends. <laughs> yes, that's right. Let's get to some further detail. You're the one who keeps resetting it. <laughs> but look, at this I point- keep, I don't know how to rephrase <laughs> the same thing in another way anymore. <laughs> look at this point. You've heard of them though. Yes! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you have not heard their music? <laughs> <laughs> this is must be what it's like listening to the show. <laughs> We're trapped in the show. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Paul, we, we have to get to it. At least advance a year in my life. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've gone maybe two weeks. <laughs> What you 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 can't be saying that you just have don't have any opinion on you two. You we got to get to a time where you I have an opinion. I feel so ambivalent. I will get here's the time when I have the opinion is okay. when they were doing that pop presentation. Paul, what? Huh? S- so pop comes Who? out and you're yeah. you're not into it no. and then and then I remember you uh-huh. Oh my god. By the way, something clicked in my brain. About five minutes ago, where I have no patience for this show anymore. <laughs> can can I it's just because say people are doing TV with just, you to people? Can I just yes. say it's very clear? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that needed to be announced. You plus two equals you two. After shut up. Sh- after you shut up. You shut up. Everybody shut up. After except for Adam, that, no. In the se- everybody <laughs> shut up. In the se- in the seventeen years since, have you had any other opinions about you two? No. Can we just take it back for a second to do, 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 do. to right after uh, high school when you started stand up comedy? Way back to- and they're a band that you haven't really heard much, but oh God. your new friends seem to like. <laughs> yes. No. You know, this episode started with us talking about the Oscars. Doesn't it, that seem like a month ago? It does. 